Happy Friday, everyone. Good morning. It is a Friday, June 23rd, 2023. And this is our Friday YouTube live. So good to see you guys here this morning. Kathleen says it's rainy in Columbus, Ohio. Sunny in the Pacific Northwest, Amber says. How is everybody today? Oh my gosh. It has been, it's been a week. <laughs> Hi everyone. Let's see if, I thought my chat was working, but oh, there we go. It's just slow. <laughs> Good morning. Hot and humid in Louisiana. It is, it was nice and cool early this morning, but it's a little humid here now. It rained um, yesterday evening. So good to see everybody here today. So this week we are going to be talking all about lawn fawn and I'm revisiting something I did, I don't even know, five years ago maybe. Um, but last week in our live, we talked about how awesome it is when companies bring back product or not bring back product make additions to product they already have. And the Summer Lawn Fawn release dropped a couple of days ago and they have new Critter Hugger add-ons. And I thought it would be fun to make some shaped cards this morning. So that's what we're going to do. Oh good, Donna says she finally gets to join a live. Hi Megan and Sarah and Kelly, it's been, it's been a while, or at least I haven't seen you in the chat. It's good to see you. Hi Beth and Betty. Betty, you're not late. We haven't really started anything yet. Um, I'm probably going to jump right in today because I don't know how long it's going to take me, <laughs> to be honest. Yes, I'm, I love these critters too, Karen. Um, a couple of notes before we get started. I want to let you know that there is 25% off Ranger products at Simon Says Stamp through the 25th. So over this weekend, um, Ranger and Tim Holtz Ranger branded product. And I do have a link for you down in the description. So check that out. Um, if you have some Ranger products on your wish list, I did try to link everything I'm using today. I could have missed some things. I know I missed some cardstock colors because I made some last minute changes. So I will add those uh, when our live is all done. If you have questions during the live, be sure to um, ask. It does help me if you put question in bold, uh, all caps. It pops out at me a little bit easier. I will uh, try to answer all of those as we are working. And then I do save a few minutes at the end of the live to kind of recap and try to catch any of those missed questions. Oh, yay, Kelly, congratulations on your son graduating high school. Yes, let's see. Hello, Donna and Joan. Yay. I Lawn Fawn always brings it, don't they? It's always so good. Kim is sneaking in from work. That's awesome. Okay, I am going to flip the camera around. We're going to talk about the new and the previously released products that I'm going to be showcasing. Plus, I'm going to show you those cards from a few years ago because believe it or not, I still have them. They're probably one of my top favorite things I've ever made. <laughs> I don't know why I still have them, but I do. And I had to go down to the basement to find them because they are in my box of Christmas tags. So uh, let me flip the camera around and let's get started. Okay, so this is what today's project is based on. I did link to this video down in the description below because they are Critter Hugger shaped cards. So I simply built the Woodland Critter Hugger into this little scene card. I did make a shaped card, which I'm going to show you in real time how to make today. I know some of you haven't been here uh, that long. Maybe you weren't here. I, don't, I literally don't know when I made this video, five or six years ago at least. It was before I moved, so it's, it's over four years. <laughs> um, but we're going to make these. I'm also going to uh, show you how to make the little pocket and of course, I had to embellish the back with a little heart. So we're we're going to follow this design. Yes, these are Christmas, so uh, we're not going to be doing these. We're going to make some summer-themed critter hugger-shaped cards. But they are the absolute uh, most cute thing ever. And I hope you guys are going to love this as much as I do. And uh, like I said, I don't know how long this is going to take us but we are just going to hang out until we get these cuties all put together. Um, 
I did base this, so let me grab, oh gosh. Well, it was all nice and, and stacked, but uh, we are going to be using some of the new fruit salad paper pads. So when I was thinking about what I wanted to create today, I knew that I wanted to make these critter hugger shaped cards, but we are gonna do some of the accessories from, let me just pop this in here. We got a loose die in the wild. That's not never a good idea. We are gonna take some of these new add-ons. These are the Critter Hugger add-ons. And I die cut some of the accessories from the pattern paper. So the fun floppy beach hat. Um, let, let's do a basket, because they're each gonna have a basket. So I, we're gonna do three cards today. Each basket's gonna be a plaid, and then the head accessory will be out of the fruit print. So just, that's a little bit different than my the winter cards, but I was very much influenced by how awesome these pattern papers are. So of course, we're gonna be using these awesome dies. In addition, in the release, we have the fruit tags. Now I'm not gonna use all of them today, but the watermelon, because there isn't a watermelon in this add-on set, I felt like the wat the watermelon card that I'm gonna use here, here's the little head wrap out of watermelons. I thought she, the critter we use for that could be holding the watermelon and this tag lends itself really easily to just chop off that little tag part. So we're also gonna use this brand new tag set. Um, I did pull in one of the drink sets just for the little citrus slice, which I'll show you in a little bit. So mixing and matching. Basically, even if you don't have some of these new dyes, or maybe they're on their way to you, just pull them in and see what you can mix and match. And then the previously released products we're going to feature are the original Woodland Critter Huggers, which is the cards I showed you, the Spring Critter Huggers, uh, so we can have a little bunny. And then there's the stitched gift card pocket. And that is the pocket that I showed you that's inside each of these. So they, they make great little gift card holder cards. So if you want to send this to somebody with a gift card in it, that would be really fun. And we're going to use that little stitched heart to do the little stitched heart on the back. And we are going to do that. Let's see. Oh, yeah, wild die, Kelly said. Oh, yes, they're so fun, aren't they, Cassie? So let me... Oh, I do want to mention really quick, even though we're not using these. So the add-ons for those Christmas cards, which they will be linked in that previous video, are the winter add-ons. That's where all of those accessories came from for the most part. Um, and then there's some critter hug, there's a critter hugger bat add-on. So you guys let me know. I feel like we probably need to do some Halloween um, cards here pretty soon to get ready for Halloween. I think that would be fun. All right, I'm gonna get myself somewhat organized. We are going to build the card base first. So I did die cut one because I wanted to show it. What we're gonna need to build our shaped card is we're going to need the card shape itself. So we're going, I'm gonna show you how I die cut that. Then we're going to die cut one of the, the critter hugger shapes, which will go right on the front and you'll see it does slightly hang over the top, but this is how we get that shaped card. And then you can or cannot, or cannot, obviously you can, <laughs> you don't have to, but you, if you would like, you can make it that gift card pocket by die cutting this and placing it inside. Then there's all the kinds of tails and fun little accessories that you can use. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys how I create that shaped card. Oh, Kathy, thank you. Halloween, Shimon says yes. Hello, Michelle. Let's see. Oh, no. Kathy, hail is never good. So how I like to do my shaped cards, and we're going to do like a bunny and like a little squirrel, I think is what it is. I like to take, so this, is an, this was an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, and I like to cut my piece three inches 
by 11. So I've got some Desert Storm and then some Lawn Fawn Fog cardstock. And we're going to score it to make like a, a long skinny tag. That's where I like to start. So we're going to just score at five and a half inches. We will have a little waste here. But this is what I find works best. And I'm just using a score buddy for that. And then we're going to fold it in half to make our little long skinny card. So that's where we're going to start. <laughs> oh, you're going to Disney this summer, Kelly. That's awesome. So let me make sure that I do this correctly. Um, I just realized I did not pull out my bunny. And let's just, that would not work very well. <laughs> if I die cut them both with the other little ears. Okay, so let's just in fact start with that one. So I do have my bunny die cut from this fog cardstock already, and I did die cut the face. Normally I layer the face on top, that's my personal preference, but this spring set comes with the cute whiskers and I, that die cut into the face. So I did go ahead and do that off camera because let's face it, that kind of makes the, makes the face. So what we're gonna do is, let me kind of gauge this really quick. And I do have a couple of different videos on my channel um, with these critter huggers, but those Christmas ones are probably my favorite. We're gonna take a little low tack tape. Oh, putting a pool in this weekend, Michelle. Oh, that sounds lovely. And we're going to line it up where it just barely hangs over the top because that's where the card is going to fold. And then I like to tape it in place so it doesn't shift. So let me flip this over and show you. It's going to die cut and you're, this part obviously won't cut. That's going to be the fold in the card. So let me grab my die cut machine. And you could do this with all kinds of dies. This is a great way to make a shaped card out of anything, even if it's not a set necessarily made for shaped cards. And my plates are super disgusting. Oh no, that came off, hold on. So let me put that bright back in place. I'm gonna flip it over. I need to get new plates. Again, I feel like I'm always telling you guys I need to get new plates. Yay, I'm so glad you get to call me, catch me live today too. Okay, after you've die cut it, you can just peel away all these little pieces. So this will be the bunny, and obviously we don't want those little arms, so I just like to take some scissors and we are going to snip away that excess. And that's how we get our shaped card. So let's go ahead and do that for our last die as well. Let me grab my post-it tape. We want to uh, save as much of that as possible. I like to reuse it. Hello, Deb. Kim says, dying with cuteness overload. Yay. Lawn Fawn always brings the cute factor, don't they? So again, we're going to line it up. It's hanging over the top a little bit. I usually like to have it hang over the top just like so. We're going to tape it down. And run it through our die cut machine. <laughs> Shimon, this is what happens when you use them, and I use these so much. Yes, Kelly, it's going to be hot. I we went to cut. Well, it's been four years ago now, I guess, in the summer, and that's the first time I'd gone in the summer to Disney, and it was a warm one, but we had fun. And again. We're gonna trim this off, the arms off. Oh, I didn't cut that very good. Good thing that's gonna be 
underneath. There we go. And you can see how you have a hinged card now. So let me move my die cut machine. Oh no, that's, that's a lie. While we have our die cut machine out, let's add our little cute stitched heart to the back of each. So I like mine kind of like down here in the bottom right corner and there's gonna be dogs squeaking. I think Ethan's up. I think they're in entertaining him is what I think they're doing showing off. Oh, thank you so much, Jennifer. Yes, there's a new Simon Says stamp release too. I will be part of the blog hop uh, for tomorrow's version of the blog hop. There's a blog hop today too. So definitely check that out over at Simon Says Stamp. But look how cute that little stitch heart is on the back of the card. Is that not adorable? So we want to do that for all of our card bases. Of course we do. There's a bunny tail on that goes on this one. So I don't know. Do we want to do that? Let me think on that one while I do this one really quick. I may stick the bunny tail off to the side so you can see it. Got to figure out how I want to finish that one. But I love this little detailing for the back of these cards. I think it's really, I mean, it's very simple, but it's just cute, cute. Yeah, let's just go ahead and go for it. I say let's do it. Oh, a graduation critter would be adorable, Kim. That's a very fun idea. There's just so many cute ways to use these. And again, think about how long the original critter huggers have been out. And I love that this breathes new life into them. Let me get rid of some of this extra paper here. And now we have our card bases. So I am just gonna kind of take them all and lay them out like this. It does kind of look like a heart-shaped tail. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do, and I do have most, I think I have most of my die cut pieces. I think I forgot to do eyes for one of them, which is no big deal. We can add something here in a minute. Um, let's grab, oh, the dogs are being absolutely terrible. So sorry, I'm going to mute everybody for just one second. Ethan, please make them stop. Or take them downstairs. Okay. So what I like to do now is I kind of want to look at these and see where my tails are in my layering pieces. Um, this one is for this. Where's my tail? Oh, there it is. It's big, so. Oh, my, my desk has always got stuff everywhere. So the tail kind of comes out here to the right. And this is what I was talking about with like the bunny tail. I think I still may just stick it out here like so. We'll see. I'm missing one though. It's got to be in here somewhere. Oh, there it is at the very bottom. Okay, because I like to tuck my tail in between this front panel and our card front. That kind of hides, hides that just a little bit. So what we're going to do, I'm going to use liquid adhesive today, I think. Yes, Frank and Odin are being very loud and uh, Odin has made a miraculous recovery. Odin hurt his foot last night and I contacted the vet, like I, I put in a request for an appointment because I thought he had broke something or whatever. And I knew at the time, I was like, maybe you should just wait till the morning to see. Yeah, he has made a miraculous recovery. He must have just sprained it, stepped on it wrong. I don't know something. 
little stinker. Made me worry for nothing last night. I was so worried. All right, we're just gonna tuck those little tails in. Yes, it's an adorable fluffy tail. Okay, here is also a really fun idea. Imagine if you were making, I mean, I could do it now too, but I'm thinking like Easter cards. You could make Easter cards and put pom-poms on the back if you were gonna give these in person and not mail them. How cute would a fluffy little pom-pom on the little hind end of your bunnies be? You could even use them as like place settings for your Easter table. I was thinking about that this morning and thinking how cute would that be? So fun. And obviously the arms fold in so they can hold things, but I'm not gonna do that part quite yet. So we're just gonna do that and we're gonna grab his little tail before that glue dries too much. I like to put a little glue right there along the side. There we go. I didn't, yeah, I don't think so. Thinking to myself and talking out loud, I should not talk out loud. <laughs> yeah, Odin does make me worry. That, Donna, that is what our babies do. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Silly dogs. I think he probably jumped off something wrong is what I'm guessing. I was outside when it happened. And so, you know, I have no idea what. Maybe he and Odin were playing rough house. Just like children do. Just like they're do they were doing a few minutes ago. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, once we have their little tails put in here and have those drying, we can start assembling. And we're going to save those pockets for a little bit later. So I'm going to move those out of the way. Oh, I forgot the other thing because I shoved it up here. We need greetings. This is the tiny tag sayings fruit from the release. Thanks a melon, you're very special. You're the pineapple of my eye, you're the zest. So cute, and then of course all the little two froms. You guys know how much I like making tags, but I thought these greetings would be very, very cute for my cards too. In fact, I was really thinking, like let's grab my watermelon basket Obviously, it's out of the pink on pink. <laughs> Deb talks to her craft projects, too. Deb, I knew I could count on you. Um, so I was thinking our greetings would actually be really cute on the basket held on each of these. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's grab a Misty, though. Because I just do not trust myself here on camera to uh, stamp these up correctly. And we don't want me to get unhappy. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Siobhan. Thank you. Lawn Fawn does have great punny sayings. Where's, oh, there it is. So I think we're going to, this one's going to be obviously Thanks a Melon. I do think I'm going to do You're the Zest for both of the other ones. But I love that they're going to just kind of work with a lot of things. And since these are very small shaped tags, I mean, there's a lot to them. I definitely won't call them simple. You saw those Christmas ones. But I do think that a small greeting works really well here. I'm just gonna prep that with a little powder. Uh, oh, the gingham is everything. I agree. Hello, Miss Lori. So we're gonna stamp our little saying here. I'm gonna grab some tweezers so I don't burn my fingers. And I thought it would be fun. Oh, I guess I don't have a jar for this. Let me grab some paper. I'm going to do red embossing on here. I thought the red would be cute. 
I don't know if I'll do it on all of them, but I might. Oh yeah, I like the red. Okay, so we've got our little watermelon basket. I maybe should zoom in now that I'm not die cutting. Let's do that. Let me clean up my embossing powder first so we don't have red embossing powder everywhere. There we go. That's a little bit better. I love colored embossing powders too, Deb. I think they're so fun. All right, so let's put Thanks a Melon back because that's little and we all know I will lose that if we don't. And then I'm going to do your The Zest for both of my other since they're both citrusy, oranges and lemons. And that'll make it easy because I'm not going to change those then. All right. And I even think the red, I do have some red accents in each card that I've die cut. And that's why I thought the red would show up really nicely. I think we're just going to go for it. Lots of gingham love in the chat. Okay, tell me what's on the agenda this weekend, everyone. Always love hearing what everybody's going to be up to. Lorraine, I do. It's Spore, S-P-O-H-R, Sal, S-A-L. She's asking for a coupon code for a cross stitch for a designer. For everyone wondering what we were talking about. Sorry, I should have said that. Okay, we've got our orange basket. Let's go ahead and do our yellow basket. Prep a little bit with a little powder, especially with red. I highly recommend a powder tool of some sort. And press really gently. I talked about this in another video I think I put up this week uh, where I pressed too hard and it really smushed out my sentiment. Oh, the Concord and Night Summer Camp Babysitting Nieces is fun. Oh, well, we can get away with your husband. That sounds awesome, Norma. Tina, quiet time alone. Sometimes that's the best. Oh, Patriotic Pinwheel, Sandy said. Cleaning, cross-stitching, and starting a project bag. Fun. Lots of co the uh, Concord and Ninth Summer Camp. I love seeing that. How fun. All right. We're going to put away the embossing powder so that there is no chance that I'll spill it. And we're going to put away this little teeny tiny stamp set too. Let's see. Oh my gosh, so many Concord and Ninth stamps, or uh, summer camps. Oh, Jenny, I'm so sorry. Happy birthday, Jen. Oh, fun. Lori's got a weekend pool party to go to. That sounds so fun. All right. I think our base card bases should be ready to go. Let's go ahead and start with this guy girl. And I 
die cut the sunglasses from the summer add-ons or the beachy add-ons from black glossy cardstock. We also have this little body piece, so let's go ahead and build that. Oh, going to a concert, Allison said, with her daughter and her daughter's fiance. Fun, what concert are you going to? Brandy's heading to Chicago for a fun weekend. Oh my gosh, lots of fun things. So I love the little layering piece here on the front. And then let's see, that looks about right. I like to look at it <laughs> before we glue it down, before I commit mm, right there. And basically the rest of this is building cute, cute things. Danielle says, help a non-techie person figure out how to respond to people. Do the at and then their name. And usually for me, it will pop up with their name. If you start, like you'll do the at sign and then start like Karen and start and it'll pop up with all, all the Karens. So hopefully that helps. All right, let's just dump out what we've got here. I'm going to put the little feet on. There's even the little feet for the critters. I just love all of the detail that Lawn Fawn thinks of here. Oh, fun! Julie is going to go see Jesus Christ Superstar outdoors. That sounds awesome. Lots of fun weekend plans. Oh gosh. Okay. It works great if you don't move them all over the place. I don't want them to dry wonky. Okay. There we go. I think let's go ahead and do our beachy hat, which this is our lemons. And there is a little layering piece. Let me show you that die. Here's the die. So it die cuts the hat and then the band. And so I did die cut it a couple times and I've got this little bright green band to layer on. I want a beach hat. I want a little outfit just like this. It's fun. How cute is that going to be? I love this little hat. All right. I did think I'm not going to add tons of shading on these today, but there were a couple of little areas that I did. Where is the red brush at, everybody? Hmm. Always the one we need is missing. Always missing. Well, we're going to use the pink one. So what I thought I would do was take a little bit of this watermelon ink. And if this doesn't work, then, you know, I'll die cut another one. It's just paper. I'm going to take a small blending brush and just add a little shading in the center. You could also do this with markers for a little more control. I was going more for a little less work. It might end up being more work, who knows. Just a tiny bit, so it's not quite so flat. Erica's gonna work on a Halloween card. Yes, Halloween critters, please, Stephanie said. I think that that would be fun too. And I'm just gonna curl it up a little and I think we'll put it over here. So this flower also comes in the set and we'll put the little layering piece and I'll show you that as well. 
I sometimes think it helps to show what dies it's coming from. So it's this little set right here. And I'm not doing the little ball cap today, but how cute is the ball cap? There's also like a little bow, which you could do like bows in the bunny's ears, or you could do a bow tie. Really, really fun. All right. Let me see where I think just put some adhesive right there. And we're going to pop this hat. right in place and I'm going to go ahead and put the nose down and then we'll secure our sunglasses. Did I just do a single nose or did I not do the... Okay, we'll do that for this one. That's fine. Can't remember what all I die cut. There's so many options for noses and eyes in these sets, so you can really kind of do whatever you like. What is the critter? It looks like a cross between a penguin and a fox. I think this one is supposed to be... I don't know. This set makes a lot of different critters. I guess I really wasn't too concerned with what exactly the critter is. Lawn Fawn has a great little, um, well, I think you can print it out, but on their website, and it shows you all the different ways that you can rearrange the dies to build different critters. So instead of eyes for this critter, I am going to do sunglasses. And... I almost forgot. I am going to do the little pink cheeks. The dogs are just in rare form today. You can make a raccoon. I didn't do the raccoon today. Um, let me show you the original set. So the original set here. You can make a reindeer. You can make the raccoon. There's the little stripes for the tail. Um, this tail works here and here. And then there's like a tip if you want to make a fox, which I guess I could make this a fox. Maybe I should die cut that and add it to the tip of the tail. Should we make this little guy a fox with that face? Maybe. Um, and then like a little, here's an, oops, there's a tail the one I used, there's a layering piece. Uh, like if you want to make a reindeer tail, you can layer this on. There's lots of different ways to use it, tons and tons. I will think to link that in the description when we're done. Um, so yes, there's like squirrels, there's all kinds of things, but I we can add like a little layering. Let's find, I d so I should have mentioned what colors of cardstock I was using. For this, I'm using Lawn Fawn Paper Bag and Vanilla Malt, and I'll just do a little, let's not drop my heat tool on the floor. Let's just die cut that real quick. And... It'll just go on the tip of the tail right there. Isn't it fun? I love that so many can be used to build different things. Um, I miss. I'm laughing because everyone is coming up with different ideas of what it is. Here's my thinking. It can be whatever you want it to be. <laughs> I'm very like, just make it whatever you want. All right. So I have lots of little pieces. I've got some lemon wedges. I've got my umbrella. I've got my glass, which I'm making this one lemonade, of course. So I die cut the glass pieces. This is the glass. And then I've got the yellow layering underneath. And then we've got a red straw. So remember I was talking about I wanted to emboss in red because I have some red accents for everything. We also have a little red heart from this add-on that I'm going to put on the back of the card. 
Um, let me, I forgot to grab some yellow ink. I do want to do a tiny bit of blending for my little lemonade. Oh, Tiffany says they need to hold a cross stitch hoop. I considered it. I considered it. I just think it's a little, the one, the cross stitch hoop die is a little too big, but I thought it would be fun. This is a little bit of the citrine. I'm not going to add tons, but just a little bit. Just a little so, again, it's not super flat. And what do you think? There they are. I meant to get my glass mat out to do that, but I didn't. So, Lydia says this is a card. I thought it was a tag. It can be a tag. In the beginning of the video, I shared how to make it a shaped uh, card, pardon me. It can be whatever you want. You can even just die cut it as is and place it right on a standard card if you want to. So we're gonna do the layering piece over our glass. And before we get too far into pushing that down, Let's pop our straw, whoops, down in the in between there. And just add a tiny touch of glue to hold that down. And then Hi Shari. Yes, paper dolls is the perfect way to describe it, Deb said. Yeah, it definitely has that vibe. That's probably why I love it. Oh, I forgot my umbrella. We want to tuck our umbrella in there, too, before we get too far. I forgot. I had so much fun die-cutting all the little parts and pieces here. I don't think I put too much glue. Yeah, there we go. All right. So we're going to put our little umbrella there. Let me pop a little glue underneath that. Well, that was a lot of glue, but it'll dry clear, so good news. And the umbrella also comes from this set. So it'll die cut the base and the top, which I did do out of a contrasting color. So I did the base out of Desert Storm and then the top of this one is out of Mermaid Lawn Fawn cardstock. You could also die cut it from white and color it in in all different colors if you wanted. Oh, the detail is so cute. All right, so I have one piece here. The little citrus slice is right here. Lemons, limes, all of the things. Oh, me too. Crafts and true crime, Tracy. Well, first of all, I think we're, we're going to be good friends. Sounds like we like the same things. <laughs> um, she said, I loved paper dolls as a kid. Me too. I think that's probably why I love like all the little fussy pieces and stuff. I still remember playing with paper dolls. You just can't find them anymore. At least I haven't seen them in a long time. Oops, I just about spilled that one as always. And I think I really wanted to put this in the glass. Probably should have glued that down ahead of time, but I did not. So let's just do it now. We'll just tip it at an angle. How about that? That'll work. That'll work. All right. This drink with the itty bitty fruit is so cute. Jenna says, yay, it is cuteness overload. All right, so let's flip it over real quick. And that little heart we die cut on the back I'm going to take our 
or the little stitched heart, we're going to take our little red heart and we're just going to glue that right down. Like so. And then we're going to look at our critter. So I don't like to uh, commit to how I want to layer everything until about this point. So we're gonna look at it. We're gonna see, like I think that's kind of cute. We need to figure out how she's gonna hold her drink. Oh, I actually kind of like that. All right, so let's see. How do I want to glue that down? Let's put a little glue here. We're gonna use as minimum amount as possible. And I wanna make sure I don't cover up, whoops, that sentiment that we stamped and embossed. Let's see. We drew our own little tab to close. I love that we're talking about paper dolls. That's so fun. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. So after I kind of have an idea how it's going to go together, then I can start gluing it down because I like to permanently hold mine. Now, when Lawn Fawn released these, they showed like putting the hands together and then you can slide like a little chocolate or something like that, which is super cute as well. Oh my gosh, my dogs are being absolutely horrible. So sorry, I'm gonna mute everybody just a second. Ethan? Ethan? Okay, they're just being horrible without Ethan now. So um, just to show you, this has like a present in it, hot cocoa. So there's lots of things that you can, uh, we're doing the summer theme, but lots of cute little things like that. All right, so I think this one's pretty much done. Oh, so fun. Okay, let me make sure that I, yeah, I messed up my chat. There we go. Let's see. So let's go ahead and do our little bunny next because that one has a different, I did the hat twice, the beach hat, because I just love the beach hat so much. But we're gonna do the little headband. So the bunny has some layering pieces for the ears that I die cut from some peony cardstock. I'll tell you what, Frank is getting on my last nerve this morning. Oh, it's good that he's so cute and that I love him. How, I mean, how cute is that, you guys? Isn't that the cutest little layering piece? Ready for the beach, yes! Oh, I'm not muting. Oh, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry. I think I hit the wrong button. So I'm shouting in you guys' ear. That's fantastic. So thank you for letting me know and also super sorry that I didn't mute it. So let's do this and then we're gonna embellish that cute watermelon. Good thing I didn't say anything bad, huh? <laughs> Thanks Julie for saying they're not bothering you. I mean, I know most of you are my regulars and you know that my dogs are terrible. What's funny is maybe they would be bad any time of the day. I guess I haven't tested it. Um, the two times a day that they're the most rambunctious is right now, of course, and this normally it doesn't matter because I'm only live one morning a week. And in the evening, when I also have been doing a live one evening a week, and I only do one evening live usually a week as well. Those are the times that they like to be rambunctious, morning and evening. 
How cute are those feet? I love the feet in the spring set. They have that little detail. And remember, really, you could use these feet for the other ones if you like that little stitching detail. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Isn't that hair tie the cutest, Natalie? I want those too. Oops, I think I meant to not put glue in there. Well, we'll just do it. Now, because I used, I was gonna grab that. This is the spring set and I did die cut the face, which I think you can make, oh, I can't remember everything you can make, but I wanted the whiskers. And so I used that whole piece, but I decided to keep my layering piece that popped out for the nose just so that I'm not inlaying the mouth and the nose, we're gonna layer those on top. So I went ahead and kept the gr that light gray and then I did die cut it again from black licorice and we'll layer it on top. And I like how that looks a little bit better. So there's that. We're gonna add some little pink blushy cheeks. I can't believe I wasn't muting it the whole time. I really should stop thinking about that. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Oh well, such is life. And let me grab my black pearls. Do you think your Patreon Live will be next Saturday? No, it will not. It will probably be, I need to, I need to look when I wrote down. I will post about that later, but it won't be on Saturday. We kind of decided not to uh, do Saturdays during the summer. So I don't use these large black pearls very often. They are, are large pearls in any of the sets very often. However, they are the perfect size for these faces. I think they're just perfect. So stinking cute. So instead of using cardstock, I used an embellishment here. Just keep it, that's keeping it real. Yeah, it's true. That's all we can be here, isn't it? All right, before I do my watermelon slice, I am going to glue my heart onto the back. And I am going to grab my glass mat for blending this. So when I was die cutting the watermelon, I wanted it to have a little bit of an ombre effect for the red part. So I actually die cut it from um, peony cardstock. And remember, when I was talking about this at the beginning, we're just going to cut off that little part that makes that a tag. This one is so easy to do that with. And then we're going to take this watermelon colored ink from Simon Says Stamp and we're going to start adding some color here. And I think that this is going to add just the perfect little amount of shading to this, to this card and this design. Those eyes make it come alive, right Natalie? I love it. And I just don't want to take it all the way. Now, the great thing about these little new tags from Lawn Fawn, they have layering pieces. Oh my gosh, you guys. I just, everything in this release, I absolutely adore. In fact, that's a great question. What did everybody get? Let me know in, in the comments. What have you ordered from the release? Danielle wants to know if Lawn Fawn has critters for wild animals, jungle, or safari. That's my school theme for next year. Oh, and she's getting ideas for, or bulletin board ideas. I don't think so. Yes. Well, Shari, what's funny? I have the bat out. We were talking about how we should probably do uh, Halloween cards next. I don't think they do have jungle or safari theme, but that's a fun idea. Miss Shari's here. We can have her uh, send that to the powers that be. So for the layering of our watermelon, there is this little green piece. That's cilantro Lawn Fawn cardstock. And then I also die cut the outer ring from Noble Fur Lawn Fawn cardstock. And I'm going to just glue them together.
Let's see. <laughs> Tiffany ordered the whole release. And Danielle says, I have the bats in my attic, so they definitely have to go to the, have, definitely leave to go to the beach. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put a little glue here. And yes, you might see that the, the seeds are going to need a piece. Lawn Fawn does this a lot. They have a layering piece that you can put back behind. You could die cut it again, I suppose, and put the seeds in. I have been known to do crazy things like that, but we're not going to today. <laughs> uh, we're going to put that layering piece back behind. So I'm just going to look how cute our watermelon is. Oh my gosh, it's just as cute as I hoped it would be. So fun. I do think, so I'm going to take a white pen. That's how I say peony too, peony. Or I've heard it several ways and, and I was like, oh, I didn't realize people said it different. But until I heard it that way. I'm just going to take a white pen and go around this edge a little bit. Well, maybe, maybe not this white one. I swear, different white pens work better on different days. It's irritating to me. <sighs> I feel like none of them last as long as I think they should. <laughs> Anyone else feel that way about your white pen? Oh, yay! Nice! Sounds like several of you have picked up Frank is just being awful, absolutely awful. I'm pretty sure I muted you for real that time. All right, so we have our watermelon now and I just layered that black piece back behind. What brand of white pen do you use? Uh, I like this Signa the Signo Uniball, and I also really like the uh, Jelly Roll pen from, is it Sec Sakura? Sakura? Uh, I like both of these, but I do find I have to buy new ones quite often. I use them a lot, so maybe I shouldn't complain. So I wanted it to look like she was holding her basket and her watermelon. Did I have anything else for her? Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm thinking not. Because I wanted it to look like she was holding her little bag and also carrying her watermelon. So let's put a little glue on that. Ordered fruit tags and sentiments, the paper pad, the hot foil plate. Oh my gosh, Christine ordered a lot of stuff. That's awesome. Yes, muted. Thank goodness, Kelly. Thanks. <laughs> no one wants to hear me telling the dogs to be quiet. I'm actually going to put a little glue under here this time. Maybe. We got to be careful because we don't want to cover up. There we go. All of our sentiment. We'll adjust a little bit. I bet my tweezers can be moved from that card to this one. So, so far, here are our cute, cute little summery critters. Question. Do you have a tip to get white pens to work when they clearly have ink and still in them? No, <laughs> um, I don't. Usually I scribble off on another piece of paper, but as bad as this sounds, I usually just buy a new one because I get mad. Let's build our last one. Isn't it a fun one? I just think let's keep them kind of in the screen because they're super cute. All right. Let's add this. Kitty needs to spend $1 for free shipping at Lawn Fawn. What can she get? Uh, I don't think the twine is very expensive, is it? I don't know. 
Shari, are you still here? <laughs> or someone who's ordered from Lawn Fawn recently, tell us, tell us something inexpensive she can add to her order. Okay, I did think I forgot to do all of the face detail for this one. Oh, so smart. I did die cut the feet out of a darker color. I thought it would be kind of cute, so we'll see. Make them stand out a little bit more. And I didn't die cut the band for this hat. Wow, I was on a roll. Oh, Shari says she draws on her finger to warm up the tip and that gets it going pretty well, I think. Oh, that's an awesome tip. Thank you, Shari. So I'll try it here in a minute. How about that? So Shari says to use the white pen and draw it on the tip of your finger to warm the, or to draw on the tip of your finger to warm up the tip. Okay, before we get too far in here, I remember now I wanted to, this cup is going to be a lot like the previous one, but let's put our orange slice down in here. I used uh, apricot for my drink color here. And I did the red straw again. And I think this umbrella I actually did in a lavender color because I have the camera from our beach set in that mermaid. Twine is four, tape is five. Okay, if it pauses, I'm sorry. Hopefully the, it says that the streaming is having a little trouble. I hope that doesn't last, but we'll just see. You guys let me know. Is anyone else, is it buffering for anyone? I store mine tip down. Yes, I do that, but I don't know. Sometimes they just quit working. Oh yeah, the cute post-it notes are only $5 too, Shari said. Well, I tried to glue this down ahead of time, but there we go. It's not doing anything good there. Yeah, and now my alert went off, so thank goodness. I'm thinking it's not affecting for you guys, but I always like to ask because if I'm just out here designing and the video has uh, buffered and stopped, that's a big bummer. I might as well stop and wait for it to <laughs> come back. But good to know. Thank you, guys. And there's our little drink. Okay. So this one I actually haven't used yet for the other two, but there is this cute, cute, cute camera in the set. And I did black glossy cardstock and then I did the mermaid cardstock. And I thought we could tuck this, oh, I think that pops out actually. I thought we could tuck this into her little beach bag. I'm hoping it works anyway. We'll have to see. Oh yeah, that's going to be cute. Let's go ahead and do that. But it shifted, so let's fix it first. I mean, we all have to have our camera in our beach bag, right? That camera, I know, isn't it the cutest thing? And remember, mix and match. You could use the camera with the holiday ones or uh, any of them. It's going to be cute with any of them. Oh my gosh, I am loving that so much. I think we're just going to... We're going to commit. 
we're going to commit right now to that because I love it. Oh, it's going to cover it up a lot. Maybe I should do that. Yes, I should. Yes, I should. Maybe I should have been doing that all along. Oh, well. You live and you learn. And I know my critter has no face because someone <laughs> forgot to die cut it. We're going to have to do that here in a minute. I probably better tuck this down there too before we get too far. Oh, I just like it to look like her hands are really full. I probably should have shaded her cup, but it's tucked in there. I don't think we'll see it too much, although we're missing the orange slice completely. So maybe we'll add this one. Let's do that. The camera in the beach bag is the sweetest. I agree. Oh, Carolyn can't wait to get this add on. Isn't it the best? I love it. Yep. Definitely need to do this though. Let's grab another set of tweezers. That's why you should always have more than one set of tweezers, in my opinion. We got all the tweezers going on here. What did we do before we started using tweezers in our crafting? Is what I want to know. Best idea ever. There we go. Oh, they would be <laughs> perfect for kid party invites. I don't have littles either, Lydia. Oh, that would be cute. Neva has an awesome idea. She said you could put string around the neck um, for the critters to be or for, pardon me for the critters, for the camera to hang around the neck. That is a very cute idea. I love that. Oh, I did cut the mouth. It's just the eyes I didn't do. Well, who knew? I couldn't remember what all I had die cut for this. So here's my question for you guys. Should we do sunglasses for this one or should we do a face? Let me know. Um, here are, I mean, I could just do black pearls for eyes. Swore a lot before <laughs> tw tw tweezers, Lydia said. Oh, that's so funny. That same someone is in my craft room, Deb said. Yes, <laughs> that's hilarious. I'm thinking almost that I might do... Um, I might do just the pearls, but I did forget to do the band on the hat. So I'm going to take this cardstock. I think this is actually Hero Arts Papaya. Lawn Fawn Fake Tan would be great too. Sunglasses, Molly said. Any other votes for how I should do the eyes? Or Molly's Black Pearls. Oh no. I'm going to get lots of different answers. Black pearls, sunglasses. Since we have the sunglasses, I need to die cut some. I thought this one needed an orange band. We'll have to decide if I should add a flower. Or maybe just leave this one as is. I did die cut an extra orange slice I thought I'd tuck into the bag, but... We might, we might. Let's glue the hat on. I like the pearls, aqua sunglasses, pearls, pearls. Well, so I don't have to die cut, we may do pearls then. All right. Um, I do have this layering piece, this orange slice which I do think would be really cute. I think I'm going to do it. This is from this drink set, which has a bigger umbrella, more slices and, and greenery and the ice cubes, so cute, right? Um, but I thought it would be kind of fun to add, so I did die cut it. And this is where you go to the other sets that you maybe have in your stash and just see what you can mix and match and add to the scene, uh, what might be small enough. 
for me, it's always, I love to add lots of little things. I want bandana print paper for, <laughs> yes. Oh, put the sunglasses on top of the hat and pearls for the eyes. That's a cute idea. Let's try that. I like it. Sold. Okay. Oh, I remember. I didn't think this was going to lay in here very nice because I've glued down a little bit. So I'm just going to snip a tiny bit off after I have layered. Oh, I might have to use my fingers. There we go. Just for lots of that in there. Okay. And then I have my red heart, which I do want. Let's glue that down and then I'll die cut some sunglasses. And then I want to show the pocket. So if you don't want to add like a gift card pocket, you don't have to, and it doesn't have to be a gift card pocket. You, it could just be where you add a note or something, but I think it's fun like that. So there's that. Um, I put all my pearls away. Yes, I know, it was a great idea. Good, thank you, Neva. So we're gonna add the eyes. And again, this is a great use. Oh, that one's kind of not good. Let's pick one that's better. Oh, I love those big pearls. It's a great use of the big pearls. If you have a ton like I do that you just don't ah! use, oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, everybody. They are playing. This is the most ridiculous they've been. I cannot believe they've not calmed down in an hour. They play chase around. So Frank is so good for Odin because he gets him running around. But oh my gosh. <laughs> No, no, no. All right. So black glossy cardstock. And I do like that. Have them kind of up here on her hat. What do we think? I think it's a yes. I love it. Great suggestion. That's why I love doing these lives. Maybe I should have lives for ever, all the cards. <laughs> I make, I can run all the ideas past you guys. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, now this is a great spot. Now before you add these, if you wanna add pockets, you could stamp on them, um, especially like if it's a birthday card or you have additional sentiments that you wanna add. Uh, what did I do in these? I think this is, I didn't do sentiments on my Christmas cards. Um. I just, I did a little gift for you inside. So I probably wouldn't add anything to these because I did it on the outside. Really quick, I did say I would try this, didn't I? Because, and the reason I, I want to take my white pen and add the little highlights to the noses. And then I will go ahead and add in the gift pocket. The dog sounds are so joyful, except for when Odin makes that one sound I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> that one sound I don't like, not joyful. It sounds like he's angry, but if you could see his face, he literally looks like he's smiling and he's so happy. Oh my gosh, what have I done to this? What is this? I swear when I put this tape away, it didn't look like that. I do not even know. Okay, so what I like to do for my pocket, and I'll just do one of these here on camera. I'll add the rest after the live, is I like to use double stick tape instead of liquid glue for this. I guess I could have used the wider tape. There's plenty of room. Oh well. No, not in here. Go play somewhere else. And then we want to take 
Oh, I'm so glad you love them, Susan. All right. And then I like to reinforce those creases with my bone folder. It just helps it lay much flatter. Big proponent of a bone folder. This is the Lawn Fawn bone folder, by the way. I love it. Okay, then we're going to unfold it. And we are just going to pop off this. This is something I've not thought of before, but it just popped into my head right now that would be cute. If you didn't want this as a pocket, wouldn't it be cute to die cut a shape from this and almost have it either be a see-through or a shaker? That would be kind of cute too. All right, and then the awesome thing about this, and I know that I think originally it was made to maybe go on the back of the die cut shape, but when I make these shaped cards like this, I love the little gift holder inside. You could stick, you know, like a $20 bill inside here. Gift cards fit perfectly. And super, super sweet and cute. You could add additional, an additional sentiment if you wanted to. I might, I don't know but super fun. Nicole, what on earth happened to your bone folder? I think I press really hard because that's all I can think of. It's this. <laughs> it still works. <laughs> so, yep, it, it has a little, it has an issue. It's well loved. <laughs> okay. Did I miss any questions as I was putting things together? Let me see. I'm going to scroll back just a second and look. That park woke my girls up. Cassie, I'm sorry. That was horrible. <laughs> oh. oh, Sandy, I love that. Sandy says, these are cute. I want to make these for my stitch group and put bright summer floss colors inside. That is a fantastic idea. That would be super cute. So you can make these in all of all of the different patterns. There's also a cute pair, the blueberry. I think making a basket of blueberries because there is a little blueberry dye would be super, super cute. And maybe even mix in some strawberries with it. But this is the paper pad. I love it. One of my favorite paper pads Lawn Fawn has done. Um, absolutely adorable. Okay, let me, I'm going to flip my camera around. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Tiffany's bone folder looks the same. Thank you. That makes me feel better. I looked at it one day and I was like, what in the world have I done to my bone folder? But I noticed it's because I, I use it to press the crease. And I think over time, it's, I probably press too hard. But I like a really nice crease. I want my, fold, my card to fold flat. I don't know about you guys, but I want it to be flat. Oh, Shari. Shush. That is the best idea ever. Shari says they would be cute holding the spool of thread from the Concord and Ninth set. Shari, winner, winner, <laughs> chicken dinner. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, I may have to make that happen. I did think it would be cute to take a, like the, the needle um, and you could have them holding that, but holding that in the spool of thread would be darling. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Oh, how fun. Oh, great, Betty. I'm so glad. I'm glad you like them. Lots of ways to use them. You can also just die cut them. I have die cut them and you can put the shapes. Oh, that's a Christmas one. Let's do one of these. You can die cut them and put the, put this right on the card. I just, I always think it's kind of fun to do a shaped card once in a while, just to show other things that you can create. I see lots of talk in the chat about being able to make multiple things from a single die set and you absolutely can imagine making a slimline card and maybe having different critters all along the bottom 
you'd probably want to cut off part of them, not do the feet, but you could have them all holding different drinks. Wouldn't that be cute? Or, you know, some have sunglasses, some have bows, some have the little head scarf, all of the things. I just think there's a lot of different ways that you can use the same set and make lots of fun cards. Oh, your favorite's the bunny. Yay! Yay! I'm so glad. Yay! What was that? <laughs> oh my gosh, so fun. Okay, everyone, I think that's it for today. Um, I actually put those together much faster than I thought I was going to. Thank goodness. Um, Deb says those are great table tags for assigned seating. Yes, um, which at, I think would be fantastic. I think it would be fun to do like little Thanksgiving ones. <laughs> um, I don't think that there's like pilgrim hats or any, or like Indian feathers, but I thought it would be so cute, uh, like for Thanksgiving, but Christmas, absolutely. Easter would be very easy to do. Or if you're just having a summer party, uh, maybe a little bit more of a formal party, you could use the summer ones to make them as table, like place card settings for your table, all kinds of cute things to do there. Shari says she has a hard time finding time to mix companies. Her world is lawn fawn all of the time. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. It sounds like a lot of you have some really fun plans. I think I'm just going to hang out here. I actually have some sewing I need to do. Um, I have not planned next week's live yet. So if there is something specific that you want to see, I'm trying to think what I have next week. Let me know. I do want to tell you guys there is a Pink Fresh new release on Monday. I will be part of the blog hop. You're going to want to check that out. I have videos both tomorrow and Sunday featuring some different things. Tomorrow will be part of the Simon Says Stamp blog hop, which that also includes giveaways. There's also a blog hop today, so check that out. Leave comments for chances to win. Um, lots of good things. Um, oh no, Sherry didn't get her YouTube notification. I don't know why that happens sometimes. I'm so sorry. Um, Thank you guys for joining me. As always, have a wonderful uh, weekend. Have a great next week. And if there is something you want to see, drop it in the comments. Let me know and I will see if I can make that happen. And we'll see you guys next Friday. Bye, everyone. The supplies used in today's video are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another project that you might be interested in. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to never miss a new live video. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll catch you next time.